And welcome back to Let's Play Sukarun 5, Part 3. We just left off at Lord Lake uh, and a little flashback thing. Now we're back to the present, speaking to the Queen. Living out their pathetic existence. Ooh, let's be crazy. Arstad? Well... I'm afraid all I can say is this. It serves them right. Oh, wow. Your Majesty. How could you? How can I? You ask? Yeah, that's what I asked. How dare you, my own flesh and blood, ask such a question? Why Those dare you be so crazy? an unpardonable sin, that's why. For generation after generation, the Rovere family of Lord Lake had been our most loyal subjects. That's why for many years I had complete faith in them. That's why I looked upon them with such favor. But on that fateful day two years ago, they betrayed me in the worst possible way. They banded together and began a savage uprising, plunging the nation into confusion. They ravaged the East Palace, and even stole the Dawn Rune. One of the three runes, the very symbols of the Falanen royal family. Such Does that mean you can still torch shame, their land and kill pretty much nearly behavior. everyone? How could I possibly forgive them? And so I, Arshtot, the Queen of Falena, brought down my judgment and vengeance upon them by the will of Providence. With the power of this, the Sun Rune! Okay, she's lost it. So you see, no matter how much Lord Lake may continue to suffer, they got exactly what they deserved. With all due respect, Your Majesty, you have every right to be angry. But in Lord Lake, the damage extends to women, children, and the elderly, people who had nothing to do with the uprising. Exactly. Silence! Do you dare tell me I was wrong? Yes. I do not make mistakes. The sun rune always lends its divine protection to it's the It's hard just. to take her seriously when her, you can't path, really even see her hands. The path of righteousness. My will is the will of heaven. To defy me is to defy the sun. Your Majesty! <gasps> Snap out of it. Ferret. Your Majesty. Everyone is tired from their long journey. Perhaps we should adjourn for now and let them rest. Sounds good. Oh, oh. Yes, I suppose you're right. I will hear the rest of your report later. For now, you may go and get some rest. Her Majesty has changed, hasn't she? Yeah, I'll see. Well, what are you going to do now? Guess I'd better make an appearance in the guard room. Well, look at you, turning into Mr. Sirius the second you get back to the capital. You know me. Sheesh. See, they do say a lot in this game. What are you two going to do? Huh, like I need to ask. You better go see your little sister. Bet she's waiting for you. Yeah, probably. I always want to choose a second option. But, better not. Yeah, you two go ahead. Your aunt here will be taking her sister's advice and getting some sleep, rest. Good idea. Little old aunties really should go easy on themselves after all. What did you say? Hey George, get back here. No. That was cool. 
<laughs> That's why I love George. And so I leave to leave the party, George leaves the party. Okay, since it's been a while since we saved last, I'm going to head out here. Utilize this conveniently placed save point. Do some really shoddy editing. And walk through these doors here. The whole point now is to find the sister. Which we have to search around the castle a little bit. <coughs> First off, go to her room, which is just up here. Damn it, I didn't want to do that. Oh, Prince Hero. Are you looking for Lady Silides? She just got back and went straight to bed. No, she was just looking after George. Or chasing after George, I should say. <laughs> no, I'm gonna rest. Oh, you sure? I don't have to? Oh, thank you, Your Highness. Thank you so much. I'm guessing Silides doesn't like being woken up. That's fair enough, I don't either. Um, not that room, this one here. I have to walk in here. Talk to this maid because unfortunately she's not here in here. That uh, she's not here in. God damn, I can't talk. She's not in here either. Yeah, obviously. Until just a little while ago, the princess was waiting here for you to visit Prince Hero. But she got tired of waiting and went off with Lady Miyuki's to look for you. Fair enough. So now we've got to search around some more. Uh, okay. Walkie, walkie, walkie. Go through this door here. So before we go anywhere else, we have to go up to this spiral staircase. I don't really know why, but a little bit. Uh, if you don't do it, uh, the next bit won't open up. Ah, uh, Prince Hero, what an unusual surprise to see you here. Well, you've come all this way. The least I can do is share a bit about knowledge of, about runes. Fair enough. What is it that you want to know? What are runes exactly? Hmm, well, in a nutshell, you probably know all about the world. You probably, ah, okay, I stop that up. Water, wind, earth, competing and combining with each other. The forces together shape everything. How each, now each rune symbolizes one of the blah. Of course, the runes predict, uh, predate humanity. Well, I'm really hopeless at reading. Well, you see, one who bears a rune upon their body gets the ability to harness that rune's power. That's fair enough. The water rune grants the power of water. The wind rune grants the power of wind. You get the idea. So you can imagine what the sun rune does. That's right, the power of the sun itself. And that's what Her Majesty used on Lord Lake when... <laughs> uh, that's another matter entirely. Yeah, okay. You mean the sun rune, the dawn rune, and the twilight rune? Yeah, that's what I mean. Well, the sun rune is blessed, you see. It brings the queendom of Philena prosperity. And the dawn rune and twilight rune bring the queendom protection, or so the legends say. <clears throat> Unlike most runes, these runes are each unique and incredibly powerful. Especially the sun rune. No other rune anywhere near here comes close. Some people even say it's one of the true runes. All born together with our world at the same at the dawn of time. Perhaps we should leave it 
at that for now today. If we delve too deeply into the things like this, we'll end up talking forever. You can tell what he's passionate about then. Runes. So back down the stairs. Now, <clears throat> we go to the hero's room, or the prince's room, whichever you want to say. Just to stand around this corner. Oh wait, first there's a storeroom. Ah, oh, wrong room, okay. Uh, it's this one at the end here, it has two treasure chests. Uh, that housed something. <laughs> And a dress. I think the first one is refined clothes. This is the hero's room. Oh my, Prince Hero, welcome back. You must be tired for, from your long trip. Shall I fetch the royal pajamas? Yeah, right. Nah, better not. Better keep looking. <coughs> oh, that's very sweet of you, Prince Hero. No matter how tired you are, you always think of your little sister. The princess will be glad to see you. I'm guessing so. So where to now? Uh, down these stairs, we'll try the guard room. Uh, and down here. As you can probably tell, I find the PS2 controls a bit dodgy sometimes. I'm used to playing Xbox, sadly. Okay. But heavens, whatever to be done about Her Majesty's... Well... I think that was whims. Could be wrong. Indeed, sending the prince off to the provinces for an inspection. What could she have been thinking? Don't tell me she's considering getting him involved in politics someday. Ha, ah, Lord Godwin and Lord Burroughs would never stand for that. A third player in their little tug of war. But just by thinking, uh, just, bleh, not just any third player, a royal, a royal male. Blah. Yes, a Flaine and Royal Mail. They're always being useless, having to... Uh, waving to the crowds. That's all they're good for. Well, that and marrying off to foreign foreigners. Seriously, the prince is as good as Deadwood. And... Um, that might be it for this episode, because it continues on a little bit.